Want to know why this is the most popular cable row variation? The close grip lets you stretch those lats, rear delts, and spinal erectors all the way up and targets the mid-back like a T-bar row does, but it allows for an even greater pump throughout the whole back without the strain on your joints of free weights. You'll want to use wrist straps and keep your thumbs on the same side as your fingers to minimize forearm involvement and tear up the muscles that you're actually targeting. It's okay to rock back just a little bit as long as your shoulder blades are fully stretched and fully contracted with each rep. Generally speaking, you want to isolate only the muscles that you're actually targeting, but the back is a bit of an exception to the rule. It'll benefit from using a little bit of glutes, hamstrings, spinal erectors to get the weight back. Just make sure that when you lower the weight on the eccentric portion that it's nice and slow because that's where most of the muscle damage actually takes place.